Some cities, we've talked rather generally about cities, but some cities are specialists in offshore, or in offshoring. Um, the, the particular site that intrigues me particularly is Dubai, which went, has gone from one of the poorest places on earth over 40 years to be uh, the eighth uh, most visited city in the world during the 2000s. It was said at one stage to have more cranes than anywhere else, maybe apart from Beijing. And it uh, is a, a place of leisure and pleasure, and it's also a major tax haven. And many of the, the sort of, the, some of the cities that we've seen images of are also functional, of course, including the city of London, part of Delaware, where there's a building in Delaware which, which is the headquarters of 217,000 companies. Uh, in, some place, in some ways, that is the largest building in the world. But of course, it's a minor, tiny building, it's not a big building, it just has a lot of, lot of brass plaques, as we would say. Um, and so this global, so the global order for me, within which the cities are struggling with these multiple and many issues and problems, is the opposite of an open world. It's one of concealment, mainly orchestrated in and for this uh, rich class. And uh, in particular, the movements of finance, income and wealth into the world's 60 to 70 tax havens. Uh, the the decisions for the coming years are things to do with how to uh, kind of coordinate many different uh, elements which might be brought together which would come to produce a sort of low carbon future consisting of whole lot, lots of different elements obviously to, to do with transport, to do with uh, energy and so on but the again where those decisions should be made is pretty difficult really and not, then it's not at all obvious and uh, partly because all sorts of changes have taken place which has sort of fragmented power, authority, relationships and so on. So knowing how to strategically intervene in something that is immensely uh, fragmented and as I will, will emphasise, you know, often involving kind of relations of or secrets and lies uh, makes this very hard to achieve. So for me, offshoring uh, is tremendously problematic. It's kind of an extra, extra burden on top of the other problems that uh, our colleagues have referred to because it involves moving resources, practices, peoples and monies from territory and moving them within what are often called secrecy jurisdictions. It's a sort of technical term. And it involves evading rules, laws, taxes, regulations, norms. It's, around, it's, it's about getting round rules that are either illegal or unethical, or using laws in one jurisdiction to undermine those in another. <laughs>